fabulous day today. Um, in honor of Valentine's Day and in honor of one week leading to my birthday, I've decided to do an entire week about relationships, love, chocolate, everything around Valentine's Day that I kind of think of for a week long uh, gab fest. Yeah, I said it, I don't know. Um, okay, so today what we're going to be talking about is how does celiac disease affect your heart? Um, so I know that's not like the happiest like Valentine's Day thing, but I thought it was a really interesting way to kind of bring in a medical, medically related um, uh, idea to this little Valentine's Day week. So um, shockingly, there is not a lot of research done on um, how celiac disease affects your heart, if there are long-term effects of celiac disease on the heart, long-term effects of undiagnosed celiac disease on the heart. But I'm going to share what I did find um, with you guys, and then hopefully if you have any other research, you'll share it with me. Um, one thing I found quite a bit about was heart palpitations as a symptom of undiagnosed celiac. Um, this is what I found the most research on, the most current information. People were talking about this recently, um, and I thought it was interesting. I found a great deal of individuals have um, had heart palpitations before they were undiagnosed. Some people said that before they were diagnosed, it was almost unbearable keeping them up at night, um, feeling like their heart was quote unquote beating out of their chest. And around 85% said that it completely resolved uh, upon the introduction of a gluten-free diet. So that's pretty huge. Um, and the other um, people said it uh, improved considerably. Um, and most said it reoccurs at the presence of accidental gluten exposure, which I thought was interesting. And then I sat back to think about it. The last time I had a really bad glutening, I remember laying in bed in just terrible pain and reading a book like this and watching the book just go like this because my heart was just beating so hard. And I, I had never, I'd never put two and two together, but now that I'm thinking about it, when I do have gluten exposure, I do kind of get this like racing heartbeat, which I thought was kind of crazy. Um, so yes, so also um, I found some stuff on celiacdisease.com from somebody named Scott Adams, who I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. He pulled together a lot of different abstracts because he was kind of curious about the same idea. So I'm going to read to you um, a little bit of what he said. Um, he said, my interest in cardiac related issues in association with celiac disease is related to a familial history of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which like celiac disease, can be missed and sometimes before a person is found to have it, he, she may experience an episode of sudden cardiac arrest or I'm going to say syncope, um, uh, which means fainting. And um, syncope? Syncope. Syncope. Thank you, Bo. Um, in stage, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy can look like dilated cardiomyopathy. Dilated cardiomyopathy has been associated with celiac disease. Um, and so, like I said, he pulled together a lot of different abstracts. Most of the research he was citing is not very current. It's um, pretty, pretty dated, um, but it was interesting nonetheless. Um, and he, his summary from everything was, while there hasn't been a comprehensive review by a celiac disease researcher, the research papers summarized here point to a correlation of celiac disease with cardiomyopathy, heart arrhythmias, and heart failure. The authors of these articles summarized here often point to a probable association of autoimmune diseases in both celiac disease and related heart disease. Um, I'll obviously link you back to this post so you can read all of the journal articles, everything he's pulled together because it's very interesting. Um, uh, like I said before, I hope everyone's having a really, really great Valentine's Day today. They're spending it with someone special, whether it be a significant other or a best friend or a son or a daughter. Um, I hope you're doing something really special and, and nice today. Um, and eat lots and lots and lots of gluten-free chocolate, because we all know I will be, Lord knows. Um, and share with those in your life just how much they mean to you. So again, stay tuned for this whole Valentine's week. My goal is to wear red or pink every day. I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll see. I'm not sure. I'm going to try hard though. Um, come back for dating advice, delicious product reviews, some Valentine's Day recipes, and you know, some more information every day. So um, I hope everyone's doing well. There are lots of love from over here at Celibo. Um, and as always, it's from Have Not to Have and Gluten-Free Dining. Thanks for watching.